Hi everyone, it's me Helena with another video and again, unusually, this is my new Neverfull MM uh, Damier Ibin uh, with red interior and oh my god uh, I'm filming in the other room in the living room so it is really uncomfortable to sit here or kneel or something like that so uh, this one is from Top Fashion Lover, uh, Top Fashion Lover 3 on Instagram and she's quite a new seller but she's legit, you know, she's not a scammer or something. Uh, she just maybe doesn't have that much knowledge on the bags but uh, like, you know, it's all about the research anyway and Every time, even with the PSPs and everything, it's every time a risk when you're buying a wrap. It is a risk. Even if you buy authentic, it's a risk. So, you know, it's a risk even more when it's wrap. Because it's a wrap and it will have flaws. So, long story I will try to make short. <clears throat> I bought from Top Fashion Lover a Neverfull weight. Uh, first one was uh, with the rose ballerine interior, Damier Bean, and although uh, the lines inside on the pink, in, you know, pink interior were a little bit thicker um, than they should be, a little bit more pink, um, you know, they were. It was quite decent, and the canvas, the canvas, with no like orange purple undertones, if the canvas with the nice sheen was beautiful so I was I was gonna ask her if she has the same factory same beautiful canvas and you can see it in my videos from her, you know I made in I made unboxing so I asked her and she said yes but I was like hesitating a little bit then one girl bought it with red interior from the same and was FL date code, but not the FL, it was like totally different FL, uh, I saw this the first time, FL like 0165 or something like that. And she showed me, the girl who bought it, she showed me the pictures in the sun and everything, and it was beautiful. My guest is right up there. Meaty? Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching. So... I immediately wanted it too. I sent her message. I sent a fashion lover message and asked her for the same exact bag as this lady before me got because I wanted the canvas and more accurate, accurate interior. And uh, top fashion lover told me that it is the same factory, but the date code is a little bit different now because it's a new batch. But I still went for it, so okay. And she gave me some discount because uh, she knew I'm gonna make a video, and so so she made me she gave me a discount. But still, I, I paid some money, and like like most. <laughs> so yeah, so so that's that. Uh, I think her price is like one seventy five for Neverfull's MM. Uh, with shipping included. So let's get into it. This is the usual shit everybody knows. Uh, this is the pouch, but I will show you dust bag first. So I bought the bag and I was hoping that it's gonna be the same beautiful canvas, maybe darker, maybe whatever, but like, you know, without the purple orange undertones and Unfortunately, the new batch has it. So this is the dust bag. It is quite thin, but um, the font of this Louis Vuitton is beautiful, and the dust bag is quite big against the bag, which I like because sometimes they make them really small, and even the flap is big. So if it's thinner, it, it's just a dust bag, so, you know, <laughs> I don't really care much. So now, um, this is the pochette, this is the pouch, and I have a daylight, but the sun is not coming to my room now, but I will try to make a close-up on the canvas. 
Come on. Come on. Yeah. But you can see it like that. Maybe from this side. Yes, I guess right now you can see it here on a dark squares. Uh, it looks like stitches, yeah, the texture, but it, it just looks like stitches. I, I call it stitches because I don't know how to how to describe it. And you clearly see, see on the squares here and here and everywhere that it has the 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 purple. And if if you look, the best way is to look from above. You see the dark squares, yeah. This bag is pretty, uh, it, it is like super powerful, unfortunately. So, uh, otherwise, huh, this is the leather tab. This is very good. Um, the zipper pull is matte, as it should be. Uh, the zippers works really smooth. Inside stamping looks like this. It looks really good too. Of course, there is a date code, and the date code is FL. I will tell you when I get to the bag. FL something, but oh my god, it's different. FL. I know at least like three factories, maybe four factories, which uses FL date code. So yeah, that's another thing. Um, <laughs> the VNU. Here we go. VNU. It's not touching on this bag. You know, it's crisp, but I wanted the no purple canvas. I just wanted the no purple canvas. And the pouch, as you see, is really sloppy. Really sloppy. It is same sloppy as my monogram uh, from OC one and a half years ago. And I think somebody told me that uh, they are still floppy from OC, the monogram ones uh, with AR date code. <coughs> so, I don't know, like, yeah, but it, it is sloppy. Like, if, yeah, I can't even, it is, it is thin and sloppy. So, this is the, this is the hardware and it's still in plastic. No, it just looks like that. This is the hardware. As on all reps, all the hardware is, of course, a little bit more gold yellow than on the authentic ones. So, seven minutes, eight minutes. Okay, let's go to the bag. I put a pillow in there so I can, like, turn it around. Well, you see, I'll try to show you again when you look from above. If it focuses, come on. Yeah, when you look from from above, you can clearly see it has the purple undertones, unfortunately, which is a shame because otherwise, like, you know, the canvas is, you know, is really good. It has nice sheen. It has the slip, as Lunch Money says. It is slippery. It is like, yeah, it looks like polished. It's not rubbery at all, you know, so it is a shame. Cinch tabs, cinch straps are uh, the correct length. They touch the bottom just right. Um, the arrows are all uh, rounded and pointy, as they should be. I think it's pretty good. Some some pieces of plastic on it still. This is the other one. They are pointy. And uh, yeah, it, this is this one. This change tab is left over right, and this one is left over right. So both of the change tabs are correct, and the length of the straps, side straps, is correct too. So now let's go to the leaves. Uh, the leaves, I was like a little bit skeptical. Because um, it looked to me that the V is like um, not good. It is a little tiny bit more narrow than it should be. Like it should be, it should start right like one stitch, maybe one stitch uh, under. Then it starts here. It should start maybe here and go to the same spot here and of course one there. Yeah, it will be better, but 
it's not that bad. It's not that like ugly sharp V, which I hate. So, which is like dead giveaway. If, if somebody, you know, sees it, like it, it is like dead giveaway. I'm looking for the Vashita Cubs and one is right here. And I have to say the leather on this, it is a treated leather, so it feels differently. And there is only one one Vashera cut. I don't see any any other no. So only one. The leather on this one is uh, some kind of different. I think like it feels a little bit more like good quality. And yeah, so I have to give a like plus for that. For now excuse me. So, this, this is the interior, it's not pink, it's just showing on the camera, it's red, and it's pretty, yeah, it is pretty, yeah, here, here you can see the color, it is red, it is true red, and I think this, this red, this shade, um, it is like, it comes pink on the cam, it's not pink at all there is no shade of pink in that so this red is i'll try to i don't know how to do it but maybe from far away maybe yeah so this red is actually i think this one is more accurate than like the it's a little bit darker you know the, like but just a tad darker and i've seen authentic you know and they have it like little, little tiny bit darker. So the zipper pull is mad here again. Uh, the pocket itself goes all the way down. But if I stick my hand into it, where well here I move my finger, fingertip there, it finishes inside. And it, it has the, no, 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 I never fools doesn't have it. So this is the inside stamping. Oh, 12 minutes. Oh my God. Inside stamping. It looks, yeah, like pretty usual. And the closure clasp, D-ring. D-ring is short and with plastic still. This is the correct length, at least what I know. Most of the reds, this is like second time I see it correct. It should be short, the leather holding this D-ring. And here it is, so that's a plus. And here is the date code. <clears throat> it is FL0187. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. FL0187. And the badge before was FL0187. Zero one, uh, three, five, or something like that. I'm not sure. So right now you see it, it looks nice and chocolatey and everything. Yeah, it depends on the camera angle and the light. But if I do a focus on the canvas and come on, yeah, you see on the dark squares, you're gonna see. Yeah, there, they just yeah, there is the purple here right in the middle you can see there is the purple undertone unfortunately so yeah but otherwise the bag is like good quality well made you know there are pros and cons come on on every bag you know it's a wrap at the end of the day it is never gonna be the same as authentic and you should see some authentic bags they're so crooked they're wrinkled, brand new, and they're wrinkled all over the seams and everything. You know, <laughs> the, you know. I'll, I guess I will never, yeah, <laughs> I would never buy it. Like, if it was dirt cheap and good, good condition, used, pre-loved, why not? But I'm not stupid anymore. <laughs> you know, for what? Like, uh, feeling that I, I bought it in the shop. Like the feeling, the experiencing like experience of spending stupid ridiculous money i don't think this is my like 
wanna be <laughs> experience or how do you call it mm? so let's finish this 15 minutes so if you want anything i have any questions i will try to help please be polite say hello and like that you know sometimes people are you know uh, this is not polite <laughs> so give me some time find me on instagram send me a message give me some time because i'm lazy as fuck but i will answer if i don't if i overlook the message send it to me again yeah so everybody has a blessed day and special thanks to everybody who supports me because it's not really happy time in my life right now so thank you very much and bye